Hey guys, it's Robin the Lady Biker. How's everyone doing? Um, heading out today. I am heading out to do a little solo mode camping. And then a couple of days after I'm there, Allie shows up and all the camping queens from here in Perth are going to be showing up. It's going to be an amazing weekend at Lake Brockman. Now if I can only get this bag closed. <laughs> Come on, let's head out for the weekend. This moto camping trip marked a number of firsts for me. Not only was it my first solo moto camping trip since moving to Australia, it was also the first time I was setting up a camp for both Allie and myself since he'd be joining me later in the trip. And I was doing it all by myself. So packing was a completely different experience since I was packing almost everything into Scarlet and heading out. Finally, I was on the road and headed south towards Lake Brockman. Lake Brockman is about an hour and a half almost due south from the center of Perth, near the town of Yarloop, and is a lovely ride. The day started out beautiful, but then the skies turned darker, and darker, <laughs> and then the rain settled in. Luckily, I only had to ride about 30k in a light rain until I was able to find a gas station in Waruna where I could wait it all out. Once the rain cleared, I finally made my way to my campsite where it was time to unload and set up camp. One of the hardest things I have found about setting up camp by myself is getting the poles into place without someone else to put tension on the tent. One camping hack I have found is to put one spike in to use as my anchor point to push against until I can get all the ends into place. After that, it's easy from there. And Amanda Zitto, this one is for you. <sighs> All right, guys, well. <laughs> Setting up camp on your own, especially the big the big tent, is a little bit harder by yourself, but got it done. Everything's in, everything's ready for the night. Um, starting out the first half of this trip solo, and when I checked in, found out that this section I have is pretty much going to be just me tonight. The rest of the weekend, it's going to be pretty packed. <laughs> But I think I'm going to go ahead and change, get out of my riding gear and into more camp hiking stuff and go explore. Because look at that. Am I gorgeous? So I'm going to see what I, what I can find around here. Come on. Lake Brockman was impounded when Logue Brook Dam was constructed in 1963. The lake was originally constructed to be a water source for the local irrigation system, but it's become a popular recreational lake over the years. Along with water sports and hiking, the local bird life is plentiful. The most common to see are these parrots that will come right up to camp in hopes of an easy meal. Even more rare is to see the cockaburro up close. This one eventually made its way over to within inches of my feet. With its sharp beak, it was both an amazing and incredibly scary experience. As the day came to a close, I spent the evening chatting with a new friend by the campfire. As morning dawned, I was grateful for the peace that comes from sitting beside the lake at sunrise.
morning, everyone. It is morning of day two for me. It's Friday morning, and this place is so peaceful right now. Um, I wish Allie would have been here to enjoy this because he would have loved it. So last night, a few people kind of came in, not many. Today is when everyone's going to be showing up and the party's going to get started. But, um, I'm glad I came in a day early just to spend a little time here, quiet. So, all right, so this morning I need to get something to eat. <laughs> we'll get breakfast in, um, go chat with a few people, see what's going on. And then, uh, I need to find a local grocer because I need to pick up some, um, uh, some stuff for lunch and dinner because last night someone was cooking some sausage and peppers and onions and it smelled so good and I'm thinking that's going to be dinner tonight. <laughs> All right guys, well, let's go just enjoy the morning. I spent the morning exploring a bit more and chatting with some lovely people I had met the day before. One of the things I am still trying to figure out is how to get ready for the day when camping. Between contacts, sunscreen, brushing teeth, <laughs> it's a work in progress. And then it was time to brave the dirt roads once more and head into town for supplies. The ride into Harvey, the closest town with a full grocer, is another 20 minute beautiful ride through the Western Australian countryside. And the town itself is so cute. All right, well, as we often do, I've stopped here in Harvey here in Western Australia for a little bit to restock some supplies. Got stuff for dinner, got a little bit of lunch, restocked my beverages. <laughs> because as I was coming out of the park and heading this direction, a lot of the ladies were showing up. So guys, the first day solo camping, it was, it was nice, just connected with a few people. A uh, couple of ladies I know actually from Perth that came in early, but now, End of day one, or end of the uh, <laughs> of the um, solo time, because the camping queens are showing up. Come on, let's head back into town. Or listen to me, back into camp. <laughs> Well, I've arrived back at camp and I can already hear that the girls are here. <laughs> Guys, it was such an amazing, beautiful trip here just by myself, just for a night, a little bit more than a night, a little bit more than a day. But Allie needs to hurry up and get here because these girls are fun. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up and put away so I'm good to go for the evening and the afternoon. And then I'm going to go join and see who all's here and what they're up to. So guys, if you can, get out and ride. When you do, have fun. Be safe. I'm going to see you on the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>